In the realm of homelessness, we have a lot of people who have food insecurities. The standard question by most gracious people, regardless of their actual faith background, professional levels, economic education, I apologize, what I mean is socioeconomic level. In other words, whether or not they do or don't have money to help someone, which is often a lie and untrue anyway, is the truth that people need to eat. Every human being needs three S's, and three S's are shelter, sustenance, and services. But the bottom line is when you're helping someone who's homeless, you want to avoid questions that pick, pick on the pain. The pain is obviously what people have as a problem they have to solve. So asking someone whether or not they're homeless is an insult. It's none of your business, frankly, as a stranger. You've not done anything to earn that right or answer to that question. Another rude question is, where do you stay? That, too, is none of your business because women who do that, men who do that, are always trying to pawn us off at a shelter that may not be right for us in any way. The third question that could possibly be rude is why are you homeless, especially if it's placed in the wrong part of a longer conversation, as in other words, you use it as a conversation starter, and usually people will answer it, but they'll be a little perturbed because maybe they're not homeless, maybe they're just indigent. In truth, the question is really to you of why are you asking. If you're not planning to do one fucking thing to help that person in any way, don't ask questions. You have the right to pass by with politeness and neighborly kindness and simply say hello if you make eye contact and be on your way. But please don't say things like, I don't have any money for you, under the ill will and presumption that that person sitting there needs your money or wants your money. Another ill-willed question which the police department and their friends and families always like to play with is, don't you want the money? And the answer is, don't be rude to me. Because the truth is, anyone who is a traveler that is not a traveler by their own choices, meaning they're a victim of cybercrime, identity theft, and fraud in which someone basically took a lot of their money and their resources, is going to be insulted by the improperness of that question. Every human being who's an adult has a need of resources. And politely so, they do want your money but they don't want to be insulted for it. You see, if you're not willing to give it, don't bring it up and don't offer it. And don't be insulted if they say no, because maybe they have cash in their pocket, enough for what they need to do. What we learn in homelessness is it's not wise to carry lots and lots of cash. Most people living in homelessness have very specific goals in which they have to cover with some cash. An example of myself, I need to buy a pair of pants, but I also have to eat first and foremost. So my pants purchase might be waylaid by the fact that immoral people have destroyed the clothing that I just purchased by painting my black pants brown and destroying three jackets that I own. You see, they did that with their paint or their chemicals because they were trying to either poison me or harm me or ruin my chances of getting another job or just misbehaving in a way they thought was fine until they recognized that God is paying attention over time.